Okay, hello everybody and welcome to your next C Sharp and XNA tutorial. Uh, so in this tutorial, we're going to be learning on how to play music within our programs, okay? And uh, music, uh, sound and music, uh, are they, they're different. I separated two different tutorials for them because the way you load them in is different and the way you execute them is differently. Now let's distinguish what's the, uh, the difference between the sound and the music. Uh, sounds like sound effects are for little things like if you have punch in your game that's a short sound like one to two second sound effects or maybe ten second sound effects etc etc uh, music or, or songs or whatever you like to call them is normally something longer like background music or battle music uh, something like that that, that uh, runs for a long duration and requires a, a longer play time uh, so essentially you can make a uh, uh, a music file a sound if you want but normally sounds are like wave files or something like that and uh wave files are normally a larger larger file types and so you don't want to have a, a long song like a four minute song in a wave file so you normally want to have them in compressed file formats such as like uh, mp3 or wma type um formats so this is why we have uh a uh, distinction between the sounds the songs and the sounds okay so we learned in last tutorial that we, we have to the keyword is the sound effects and this one the keyword is song now before we start instead of the audio class we need the media class in order to use songs within our program not the audio class okay not the audio namespace okay uh, so we have song and I'm going to name it BGM standing for background music. Okay. So in our load content, just like we load everything else, we're going to do BGM is equal to content content, sorry, dot load. And we're going to be loading a song and the song I have stored there is title. Okay. So we have the song loaded. Now the problem with our last tutorial was, as we noted is that the this um the the file or the sound kept on repeating over and over again because as soon as it hit the draw command or the update command it doesn't really matter which one you put it into it depends on how your game logic goes or how your game runs but uh every single time it hit the certain part of the code it would re it would replay it again uh the the song class or the media manager class, a media player class or whatever you like to call it, uh, has a nice built-in function that will let us know the state of the song to let us know if, if, like, if we're playing it, if it is stopped or if it's paused. So what you want to do is you want to put if media player, sorry, dot state not equals to media state dot playing and notice if you go to media state there's three options pause playing or stopped so if the song is not playing then what you want to do is play the song you play the song by doing media player dot play and then you put the song file there now there's three overloads you can have a collection of songs uh say in your battle system or uh in your map or whatever in your game or something you, you don't want to repeat the same song over and over again you want to have a collection or an array of songs you can store them into a song collection and play them um back to back or say you don't even, you're not even making a game so you're making a, a mp3 player or something uh from this application you want to play songs back to back or you want to shuffle the songs etc cetera, etc cetera. uh you have all these features there but essentially we're going to use a first overload i'm just going to play uh we're going to play our song so we're going to just put play bgm and then it, once we run this program you'll hear the background music or the intro music for the game i'm creating check out my game development videos but yeah so the music plays accordingly so that is it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching and bye